It's time to play Blockbuster with your host, Bob Holden. Well, thank you very much, and welcome to Blockbuster Gold Run, and to meet her replacement. So, first of all, let's do that. A big round of applause, please, for Daniel Kitson. Yeah! Hello, Daniel. Hello. Nice to meet you. Daniel from Shelley High School in Huddersfield. Yeah? Yes. Sir. Good. I like to be right about these things. Well, alongside you from Rainford High School in St. Helens are Simon Coyote Osindero and Chris Walsh. And they'd like to say hello and welcome to the program. Okay? Well, good. Fine. Now, uh, you need to not, so you, you need to have no nerves, you need not worry about a thing, just sit there and relax, okay? Is that relaxed? Good. I like to see a relaxed person. That's a picture of Daniel, relaxed. And now we have a picture of Chris, who's going to do the gold run, I do believe. I don't know whether it pleases Daniel. Does that deter you, or does it encourage you to go for the gold run, Daniel? I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> you require notice of that sort of question. Yes. Yeah? If, you, if I get 170 pounds, I'll be a happy man. Will you? <laughs> okay. We will see, Daniel, won't we? You know. Yeah, Jingo. You, you, know who it's up, you know who it's up to, Daniel, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Let me win. Okay. Good luck. Here we go. The board's changed. H is flashing. Let's play Blockbuster. <laughs> It is very funny, every time we get that little burst at the beginning, I must mention the dancing flower dances away at the end of the thing. We'll see it in a moment, we may even demonstrate. But that's the H flashing and here's the first question. What H goes before Bennett, Christopher, Gerard, Paris and Robert? That's Chris. Uh, Harold. Sorry? Harold. Not Harold, no. Daniel, what H goes before Bennett, Christopher, Gerard, Paris and Robert? For the names of the five wild flowers that on its own is any aromatic plant used in cookery. Herb. Herb it is. Herb is the answer. <laughs> right, we've got an H on the end. It's your first one, so give us a letter, please. Um, Y, please. Y, down at the bottom. What Y is the surname of Nana and her husband, Boris, the president of... Yes, Simon. Yeltsin. Yes, it is. Yeltsin. Okay, one of each colour. Now, Simon picks up the reins. Um, can I repeat, please, Bob? And picks the letter right next door. Okay. Poppy had a dog called Toby, a wife called Judy, and a cat say... Yes, Simon. Was it Punch? It was Punch. Yes, you're right. Catchphrase. That's the way you do it. Right? Yeah, all right, then. Um, have another choice. Um, M, please. They weren't impressed either. Right. What M is the Duke whose residence is Blenheim? Yes, Chris? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Daniel, what M is the Duke whose residence is Blenheim Palace and the name of a public school in Wiltshire? <laughs> Marlborough. Yeah. Duke of Marlborough. And Marlborough is a public school. Right, another M. What M is the gospel which starts by... Yes, Simon. Matthew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it starts by detailing the genealogy of Christ, commencing with his ancestor Abraham. It is Matthew, it wasn't Mark. And they've got three blues in a row, much to the distress, I might tell you, of Daniel, who's looking a trifle anxious. Yes, I said so, didn't I? That's his anxious expression. Yeah. Now, what are you going to pick next, Simon? Um, the B for Bob, please, Bob. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what B was the religious leader who became the... In yes, Daniel? Buddha. Yes, it is. Buddha. Well done. <laughs> became the enlightened one in about 500 BC. Right, two white, three blues, and it's back to Daniel. I, please. The I, okay. Do you know what I instantly translates from one language to another into the, for the benefit and... Yes, sir, Chris. Interpreter. Interpreter, correct. <laughs> right, the ding-dong battle as Chris picks the next letter. And um, we'll have the L, please. The L down to the bottom right. Of what L... Are there ten in each subject of the national curriculum of which... Daniel? Levels. Levels is right! Yeah. 
Well, there we are. Now. Um, N, please. N at the top. What N is the pet form of Eleanor and Helen, sometimes used <coughs> Simon? Nelly. Nelly or Nell? Yes, absolutely right. In fact, Nell Gwynne's real name was Eleanor. But who would associate Eleanor Gwynne with Charles II? The origins, you wouldn't, would you? Right, next one, please. Can you have the E, please, top? The E? Up at the top right. Does anybody know what E was the surname of the engineer who designed France's famous 1,050-foot landmark? <coughs> Simon. Eiffel. Eiffel it is. Yes, well done. We have a flashing blue light. Now Daniel's really got to move fast. He has been relaxing a little in the seat, but now he's got his knee up there. Show you've got shorts on. Yes, I do have some trousers on. Oh, <laughs> underneath. Yeah. Oh, I see. No, um, yeah. Well, underneath the desk, but not underneath my pants. Ah, ah. Yes, I see. I think. He's also got Doc Martens on his. Uh, you will see him if he goes down on the road run, but that, that's the side of the point. Well, where was I? Yes, there's a flashing blue light. Um, tea, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the interruption. <laughs> what tea is the traditional name for a whole round cheese like cheddar? Or... <coughs> yes, Daniel. Tudor. No. <laughs> Two cheese, no. Simon and Chris, what tea is the traditional name for a whole round cheese like cheddar or Stilton? Yes, fine. A crisp. It's a tube. No, it's a truckle. It's known as a truckle. What tea are said to be delivered in one in every 85 pregnancies in England? <coughs> That's Simon. Is it twins? It is twins, and you've got Blockbusters! <laughs> Well, before we go into the game too, I think it's only right, just to get one or two things clear, that we should just have a word or two with Daniel, um, whose knee keeps appearing over the top of it. Do you sit, sit like that at home, do you? Sorry? Sit like that at home with your knee up on, on the yeah. table. Sometimes. It's a sort of habit, is it? Yeah, yeah. bad habit. Well, yes, yes. Is it true that you want to be a stand-up comic? Yes. Uh, what are you doing towards it? I mean, I, have you appeared at the comedy I've done, store? I've only done two, um, two performances, but like, that's been the last fortnight. So, by logical extension, by next year I'll have done 52, which won't be too bad. <laughs> I see. Well, well thanks, Dan. No, I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll have a little chat with Jan while, while you take a break. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Dan, look, why don't you have a... <laughs>